Hey, Jason Rice here. Lot pop, another lot party quick tip. Man, um, I want to talk about inventory management. You know what? We've been preaching first 30 for seven years now with our dealerships. Um, it's something that I noticed years ago before I even started lot pop, but it seems like here lately you're going to hear about it from some industry experts about the importance of having a 30 day supply and, and turning your inventory in the first 30 days. Um, you're magically going to start hearing about it from other people um, as a new trend that just started, but we've been pushing out, you know, our first 30 wristbands. I have to order another set. I'm low. I've sent out 3,000 of these across the country so far. I'm going to order another batch. So if you want some, let me know. But understand there'll be a delay getting them out. These first 30 bands, you know, what we preach with uh, with Viad or with our with the inventory management with Lopop is in order to get gross in volume, if you can get 60 to 70% of your sales in the first 30 days, um, that's where you get both gross and volume. And again, you're all, you're going to hear from industry experts right there pushing their first 30 ideas, but it's stuff that we've been uh, dealing with our dealerships over the last seven years and helping them get better managing their first 30. But just like um, in the past when I was helping other dealers, you know, this first 30 to get 60 to 70% of your sales in the first 30 days is the pinnacle. And it's like getting to the Super Bowl. Go Chiefs. It's like getting to the Super Bowl, the best of the best, or being on the all-star team. In reality, you know, we have hundreds of dealers and 20%, 30% will hit this first 30 consistently. Um, another 40 to 50% will peak it here and there, right? Um, but what we, what we find out is, man, if you can at least get 50% in your first 30 would be uh, a good operator, right? So at least get the 50%. But the things, uh, the, the reason why it's the pinnacle and it's very hard to obtain is, and maintain is because everything has to be clicking. It's, it's hard to control. It's hard for us to help dealers control the first 30 sale rates because transportation, titles, finance and, and closing deals out to service and parts and photo guy and weather and all these things that slow a car down to get it lot ready for sale or volume picks up. That's where our biggest challenge is. We get the dealer's volume picked up. Then they go scramble, have to buy a bunch of cars and try to shove it into a turnaround time. That's not used to handling that many cars. So um, we run into the turnaround time problem and that, again, is why First 30 is the pinnacle, and we try and strive to get dealers there, but not every dealer can accomplish that, and, and, and some don't, you know, not necessarily don't want to, but it's just there's so many uncontrollables. So my message today is, hey, if you're that kind of dealer that continues to struggle, will always struggle with it with personnels and, and, and facility problems to be able to do that. We understand, and, and again, try to get 50% in your first 30, but what you can control is that middle bucket. And I was telling our team, man, that middle bucket's more important than the first 30 because it's controllable. And what I mean by that, how it's more important, yes, if you want gross and volume, first 30 is the most important. You got to hit that, okay? You got to get there, and every dealer should strive for that. But if you can't get there or you've got there and then now you're not and then you're going to try to get back there again, just understand what you can control is the middle bucket, the 30 to 60 day old stuff. By 31 days, your cars should already be done, should already be photoed, should already be described. Everything's there's no excuses now. So if you can manage that middle bucket, because control what you control, I'm not telling you to get sloppy on the first 30 now. And, and, and try to get there, try to get 60 to 70 percent of your inventory zero to 30 days old and try to sell that many zero to 30 days old. But if you can't, and even if you are, you have to still maintain that middle bucket so you don't bleed through. Please have an aging policy. 60 days is it. Don't let car retail out of everything. Don't wholesale a car because it's 61 days old. Retail out of everything. But if you can control the 30 to 60, now I'm going to tell you, Again, years of years, you're going to hear experts out there. First 30 days is going to be that new trend that you're going to hear. It's something that we've been doing for seven years and tracking and trending. And I'm going to tell you the nugget 
and I did a video about this before, the nugget is if you're clean, meaning less than 10% age, keep your middle bucket at 25% of your current inventory levels. If you can do that and sell 5% more than sitting there. So if you got 25% in your middle bucket, 30 to 60, at least be selling 30% or more out of that bucket. And if you do that, those cars should not trickle through and add to your age problem. You'll be able to maintain 10% or less, keep that at middle bucket at 25% or whatever's in there. If it's 40%, because again, you struggle with that first 30 and you only have 50% first 30, 40% in that middle bucket and 10% age, that's okay. Again, try to get to first 30, 60 to 70, but if that's just how your inventory set up and that's how you consistently run, just by happenstance, then on that 40% middle bucket, you have to be pushing out 45 to 50% of your sales out of that middle bucket so you don't add to your age. And you get to control that. But that means you got to make tough decisions on that 35 day old car and you're only making, you know, do I only want to make 200 bucks on it and so forth. Those are the decisions that you have to make, but it's up to you. So my point is, first 30 is the pinnacle. Everybody should try to get there. If you want gross in volume, you, you, the top stores will get there. But I'd tell you out of, what, 15 years of helping dealerships with inventory management, probably only 25% of the dealers are going to get there consistently time and time again. And maybe 30, 40% will get there, come out of it, stay clean, go to 50% sale rate, get back up there. They'll be in and out of that pattern. But the, those stores control the middle bucket. Don't let stuff get aged, get cleaned back up, get stuff set back up in the middle or in the fresh, start selling the fresh back again. And then they have some kind of issue with people getting sick or fired somebody, have to hire somebody, got behind. And then, you know, they have 50% fresh, bling through the 40% in the middle bucket, but they're selling 40, 50% out of that middle bucket to stay clean. They're taking pipe in the bullet to, to not get age build up and then get back on path to get back to a fresh sale rate. So what I'm telling you is don't get frustrated if you can't do the first 30. If you can't get 60 to 70% of your sales in the first 30, don't give up because again, that's a pinnacle, but manage the middle. Manage the middle, manage the middle, manage the middle. If you're at 40%, 50% in your 30 to 60 day old cars, sell five or 10% more, stay clean. If you have an aging problem, if you're over 10% age, if you're 15, 20, 30% age, all you gotta do, and it's tough, but get your middle bucket, your 30 to 60 below 20%. If you get that below 20% in the teens, meaning your 30 to 60, you have 18, 19% of your inventory, 30 to 60 days old, then sell at least 5% more. If you have 19% sitting there, sell 24, 25, 30% out of that middle bucket. Stop that bleed through. Once you stop that bleed through, start chipping away at your 20% age. Do 10% this month, 10% next month, and 60 days you're clean. You've maintained that middle bucket in the, below 20. You're pushing it out. You stop the bleed through two months, 60 days you're clean. Now maintain that middle bucket at 25%, selling 30, 35%. So if you just do that, if you can't reach the first 30, don't get frustrated, don't give up but main, manage the middle. Managing the middle is controllable. It's up to you. You can get those results. First 30, a lot of uncontrollable aspects. Again, weather, people are sick, transportation, title holds, all this stuff, photo guy, uh, you know, got behind and what have, whatever reasons, and a lot of them are control, uncontrollable <clears throat> to be able to get that first 30. So I want to get this message out there again. You're going to hear a lot of, 30 day um, information out there from industry experts and they're not wrong. But again, there's more to it. There is way more to it and it's the middle bucket and I'm giving you everything you need to do to be successful with that. Hopefully this was helpful. Um, heading out to Nebraska Independent Dealer Association, doing a little meeting out there. Thanks for watching these. I go to YouTube, I load them up there consistently, subscribe. Put them on podcasts. If you are on YouTube, I'll put a uh, subscribe button down here. More tips here. There's 150, 160 tips there. Um, 844-LOTPOP4 or LOTPOP.com. Free inventory evaluation. Thanks.